Hello everyone, Ryan here. So, back with an album review. And this will be the first album review I've done in uh, quite a while. I don't even, I don't even remember uh, the last album I reviewed. So, I mean, because, by the way, if you're new to my channel, you don't know, in addition to book-related stuff, I also... You know, I mean, in addition to um, book reviews, I also do movie reviews, album reviews. Uh, I also post, like, my original songs and poems and whatnot, so. It's an eclectic channel. <laughs> uh, but anyways, the album I want to review uh, today is uh, the Jimi Hendrix Jimi Hendrix Experience, BBC Sessions. And it's not so much an album, I guess, per se, but it's a collection of uh, these live performances, I guess, that uh, Jimi Hendrix, along with his bandmates, they performed uh, on this radio show, which was called the BBC Sessions. Now, I don't know if... Uh, BBC session still exists today, or if it, you know, possibly goes by another name. But back then in the 60s, it existed. <laughs> uh, so I'll go ahead and give the track listing here and talk about some of my favorites. Uh, first track is Stone Free. Second track is A Brand New Sound. Third track is Hey Joe. Fourth is Foxy Lady. Uh, actually, an alternate take of Foxy Lady. Five is Love or Confusion. Six is Purple Haze. Seven, Radio One. That was like a jingle that Hendrix came up with, a radio jingle. Uh, eight is Wait Until Tomorrow. Nine is Day Tripper. Ten is Introducing the Experience, which is just like an introduction to some woman who introduces them. 11 is Little Miss Lover, 12 is Jammin', 13 I Was Made to Love Her, 14 Alexis Corner Introduction, again someone else who introduces them, uh, 15 Can You Please Crawl Out Your Window, 16 Hoochie Coochie Man, in parentheses, parentheses uh, I'm Your, so 17 is A Happening for Lulu, 18 is Voodoo Child, Slight Return, 19, Lulu Introduction, another introduction. 20 is Hey Joe, Hey Joe again. Yeah. 21, Sunshine of Your Love. So, yeah. Uh, and of course, Sunshine of Your Love, that, that's, that was like a cover they did of, uh, I believe it's a Cream song originally. Yeah. But on this one, they don't play the entire song. Uh, just like I, I want to say, they just play it for like less than a minute. And so, I mean, as far as my favorites go off of this, uh, I mean, I like Hey Joe. I like both versions of it on here. Foxy Lady, Purple Haze, obviously. Uh, Blue Child. Uh, jamming. Um, I also like Love or Confusion. And, yeah, and I, I also, even though Sunshine of Your Love, the cover here, it's short, still sounds pretty, pretty good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I mean, I guess overall I would give this, this album... Uh, at least four and a half out of five stars. So, of course, the sound quality isn't the best because, you know, it was recorded, like, essentially, I guess, they're, like, these pieces taken from a radio broadcast and uh, the radio broadcast, like, I guess they remastered it and as best as they could. 
but yeah, that's, I mean, you could tell, I mean, obviously, you know, most people are familiar with the fact that, you know, a lot of the music from the sixties and seventies, especially when it comes to like rock music, because, you know, back then recording technology was not obviously not what it is today. <laughs> uh, so, you know, back then everything was on tape, analog and real to real stuff. And so, yeah, obviously a lot of it's, a lot of that stuff deteriorates over time. So, but, uh, despite that, uh, I still, me personally, I still like listening to a lot of this music, music from the sixties, you know, like Hendrix and Deep Purple, Cream, and, uh, Zeppelin, obviously Black Sabbath. And so yeah, that pretty much does it for this album review. Uh, not really much to get in depth with. As far as playing wise, I mean, obviously, Jimi Hendrix is an awesome guitar player. He he will always be one of my all time favorite guitar players, and uh, as you know, I, I know that he is for a lot of other musicians. And so, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, later on, I, I I plan on reviewing some more Hendrix albums, uh, like actual studio albums. So. This one I wanted to review. Actually, I've been wanting to review it for quite some time because uh, I've already listened to it so many times. Uh, and also because I own a physical copy of it. Uh, and one thing I'm trying to get back into as well is rebuild my physical CD collection. Uh, I, I know a lot of people now are collecting vinyl a lot, and, but... Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't have the room to start a vinyl collection, <laughs> uh, let alone a record player or whatnot. And then plus, like, because my car has a CD player, I like listening to music in my car because my car stereo is pretty, pretty good. I mean, pretty good at like balancing out all the subtle nuances of rock music. <laughs> Uh, at least that's how I feel. So, and plus, like, because my job is like, I'm a delivery driver, so I like listening to rock music, the music I want to listen to while I'm working. So, hey, you know, I can't do that with vinyl. I don't have a record player in my car. <laughs> hey, you know, some people do. If you do, hey, that's that's pretty awesome. I'd, I'd like to know how you set that up. Uh, but yeah, so again, that is it for my review of this uh, the Jimi Hendrix experience, the BBC sessions. Once again, I give it four and a half out of five stars. And that'll do it. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for listening. As always, see you next time. Don't forget, keep it real. Keep on rocking. And peace.